Welcome back to my channel, I'm Mr. Valentine, or if this is your first time, nice to cross paths with you, how do you do? Today I'm gonna be continuing my exploration through the Black Mirror TV series. I have seen up to season two, episode three, The Waldo Moment, I watched that a few months back. If you wanna go watch it, it's over on my Patreon. But today is, I think, The White Christmas, so we shall see what it has in store for you, boy. Thank you for watching this. If you wanna support this channel, like this video, hit subscribe. Join the channel, comment down below. Tell me what's your favorite Black Mirror episode. I wanna know. That rhymed. Um, shout out to all my patrons over there on the Patreon. You know, it's just another way to tip your hat in my proverbial direction. So watching Black Mirror, all of these episodes I've seen for the most part, really just sends shock waves up my spine. So I imagine this will be no different. All right, without further ado, season two, episode four of Black Mirror. Coming straight to you, let's go. What is this, the beginning of Hereditary? Just getting into that. What are you doing? That's Don Draper. Dick Whitman, excuse me. Christmas. Christmas Day, December 25th. You've heard of it? No work today. Ah, he rings the bell. I figured it'd be good for us to have a, a meal. Drink. Some some camaraderie. Rapport building. But come on, there is a little bit of a conversational drought happening here. My ears need water. I'm not big on conversation. Practice. Idioms, am I right? Figurative language. Buddy, look, at this point, being bored by anything other than snow would be a relief. Chit chat. Chit chat. We need to bring the word chit chat back. No one ends up here without things going to total shit for them back out there. A job, not a jail. Often one and the same thing. So no truer thing has ever been said, I reckon. It's not an interrogation. What about you? An icebreaker. You're learning. Well, what, what went to shit for you? You sure you don't want that drink? Did you talk your way into trouble? <laughs> now you want to deflect, huh? I talked to people, made money from it. Well, what were you? More like a guru. Oh, don't say you were a spiritual guru. Oh. I was decidedly not. Uh, uh Tony Robbins? Even off Tony Robbins vibes. How about this? Doesn't work. It's boring blue, and you're not boring blue. Not tonight. Okay. Function room is in the back. Trust me. If you walk in there like you belong, no one's gonna say anything. He has the entire layout of this place. Romantic services. Boy meets girl thanks to in the field assistance. You coach dogs while they crew singles balls. He lent his Lothario abilities. Almost like uh, Will Smith in Hitch. And, uh, <sighs> yeah, don't worry about him. Grab one of those empty bottles off the bar while Captain Douchebag orders his best one. <laughs> Captain Douchebag. It's very unsettling that this software exists. <laughs> it's software exists out there. Facial recognitions. You're the horse story, like the blonde girl. Somebody's probably gonna say. Did you see him? Put a guy on a horse. Yeah, like 20 minutes ago, this guy, shirtless, riding a horse down the high street. <laughs> really? The brunette is Nymphadora. Don't call me Nymphadora. Harry Potter fans, anybody? This girl seemed Barking up the right tree. An attractive outsider. There's nothing more tantalizing than that. An attractive outsider. Tantalizing a great word. That is a great word. So he streamed everything he saw. And he trusted you with that. Well, it was only me watching. Jesus, how much you ring? He's pissing like a harpoon cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's so exploitative. <laughs> There's only me watching. Cut to a gaggle of people watching. I don't really get parties. Maybe everyone else enjoys it. Maybe it's just me. It's definitely not just you. 
I like this cinematography. It's sneakily sophisticated. I thought, uh, hey, kindred spirit. I really hate when people say kindred spirit, you know, and people that do that. Kindred spirit. Self-hate. People just want to be heard. That's why 90% of seduction is just listening. Or at least putting a face light and listening. Yeah. But the important thing is to make them feel important. Like Hitch said. And when she answers, don't be looking at her mouth. Don't be wondering what she looks like naked. Listen to what she is saying. What's wrong? <laughs> what about it? I just, I just never noticed it before. <laughs> Point is to stay locked in on them long enough. I'm getting the same feel as I got from watching Charlie Kaufman's I'm Thinking of Ending Things. Am I intimidating? No, 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 no. I'm just, uh... No, I just imagine that they all kind of want to get inside your... Head. Head. <laughs> Some of them have tried. Good save. Good save. This will be my last. Oh, really? Are you leaving? Yeah, it's like when you want to jump into a pool and you're worried that the water's going to be cold, but you know, moments after you jump in, that it'll be fine. Insightful metaphor. Good on you, kid. It's changing states. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. She touched his fucking knee. <laughs> a little knee touch. That's first base in some countries, right? Hey, don't worry, honestly. It's Ask if you would like another drink. Listen, let me get you another drink. Let me think. I just need to think. Wanna buy you a drink? Ooh, wee. A nightmare having you, you know? All of you in my head watching us, telling me what to do, and I just want to talk to her myself, and it's... Um, it's giving schizophrenia. Voices of one's head. She's like, I want you to come back to mine. I thought about asking you, and the little voice said, Do it, so I'm doing it. Ah, uh, say yes. I want to do this. That's what I like about these these TV shows of this nature, this, these stories of this nature. The intrigue, the mystery is like a psychological puzzle. That you don't know how everything fits together, but you can see it building to something that a certain je ne sais quoi. Come in. Did you watch? When they went back to hers and got up to whatever they got up to, did you carry on watching through his eyes? What do you think I am? <laughs> My job was done. Of course I didn't watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> He's looking very keenly, keenly on the screen. Too presumptuous. I need you on the bed. Ah. Ooh la la. She got triple X's in the background, neon sign. The writing is literally on the wall. <laughs> what is that? <coughs> fuck them is what it is. A big glass of fuck them. Fuck who? Always saying what to do, half saying one thing, half saying another. A constant talk. <coughs> I stopped taking the pills. They said I should take. Is she? Oh, okay, Harry. I think we should think about wrapping this up. I was planning on doing this tonight to make. You... <laughs> and not just condoms. You need to get the f out of here, dude. It was fate. You knew what it was like, and you said, "Do it. Fuck it. Together." What's in the drink? It doesn't matter. Wrap it up. I know you hear them too. Is she Bill Cosbying him? Real people. These are real people. There's such things, real people. Harry. Get out of there now. Please. But where we, we meet girls and they talk us no no no. This is this one guy is the lead. <coughs> He's the leader. Yeah. He has been compromised. Oh, this is remarkably unsettling. Cuckoo, she's loco. We'll be free. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So when she said she was planning on leaving, she was planning on leaving. Wipe and destroy everything, okay? Everything. Now go. That is a source of perturbation and consternation. Selena Gomez blocked me once. Once they hit that button, that's it. You're locked out. End of conversation. You can't. Oh, that's clever. That's a clever idea, blocking someone in real life. This is why I watch Black Mirror. She left me. Took custody of Mel. It's our daughter. Hen 
days stranding me in this lovely place. I didn't want to be surrounded by reminders. What is it like a purgatory, a limbo of sorts? I'll describe to you my day at work when you stop me when you guessed it. I'm starving. Oh, that toast looks burnt. Say something. Yeah, I think I'll say something. Look good. To be honest, it's not quite how I like it. It's a bit overdone. Sorry. Assertiveness for the win as the general rule of thumb. Eight, seven, six, five, four. I can't, um, I can't see. What's that noise? Oh, remaining conscious in a dream state throughout some kind of procedure. Probably a wee bit there, brother. Oh my god, am I dead? No, no. <laughs> Do you know what a copy is? As in a copy of something? Of course I know what that is. <laughs> well, that's... It's in the name. You are. A copy of... A copy of you. But I am me. Okay. Like Dolly the Sheep. Because you're code. Simulated brain full of code. A disembodied consciousness. Well, it is a lot to process, even from inside a processor. Put me back in my body! Which one? It doesn't matter. We already know you're making toast. Uh, the buttons are symbolic, mostly anyway. Tis but a mere formality. You are the button. Uh, who? For real, you. <laughs> She's paying. Where is real me? Taking a nap. Omnipotence. Omnipresence. I don't, I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. This is the best version of a metaphysical approach. Okay. Please stop screaming. Are you going to stop screaming? Are you going to stop screaming? No? Okay. I'm sorry. I had to mute you. I don't want to hear your caterwauling. Okay. Would you prefer to do nothing? Well, I'm not doing this. Nothing it is, then. Let me show you what that is like. Three weeks sound good? That should give you a taste. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean, three weeks? Yo, this is trippy, man. This is trippy. Exploring the space-time continuum in this way. nothing to do here there's nothing there's just like some interstellar concept of time i couldn't even sleep ready to go to work oh no 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 i'm not, definitely not doing that okay well have six months no no wait 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 yo it's diabolical that is diabolical Work to live or live to work. Is it set up? You are all set and ready to go. <laughs> what the f Oh. Really exploring the duality of self, different different stratums of individuality. Well dramatic, isn't it? Like she thought she was real. But she wasn't. It's barbaric. Savagery. Primordial. Primeval. Medieval. You can tell me about it. I've done stuff in my life I'm not proud of. I can't pretend I haven't. Was it something to do with your family? I have a sneaking suspicion he knows this. It's just us here. Dead never let me. Ooh. I'm about to get mad vulnerable, son. Flashback to... Bethany? Dad, what now? This is what I sound like in the shower. 
But I feel like I'm crushing it, dude. Okay, a little melodious, euphonious. Somebody is a little inebriated, a little sloshed, poop faced. <laughs> what was her tip for winning me over again? Not to let you hear me snore. <laughs> I fell asleep on the coach back and snored so loud they all thought there was something wrong with me. Uh, he snores like a bison. A deviated septum much? CPAP machine in with the works. Oh, look at that framing, though, really visually symbolizing her isolation within this relationship. Black Bear, I'm back, baby. I'm back. So she is with child. Joe, I can't. Oh, God, you'll be an amazing. Not, I'm 27. I'm not ready. Well, who's ever ready? It's not. Ain't that the truth? Right, Joe, oh, man. man. Family. I don't want it. Ooh. With a very severe, solemn conviction. It's like Dr. Owen Hunt and Dr. Christina Yang. Grey's Anatomy, anybody? You're being a bitch. You're being a cold bitch. Who would kill a kid? No, that's not Who would fair. get it torn out because it doesn't suit her plans? Stop or I'll block you. Oh, Roe v. Wade. Am I right? Stop. But you fucking bitch. As much as I understand where she's coming from, that's such a very extreme, drastic measure. And convenient. I bet that would be convenient, though, <laughs> to use on somebody. But she just didn't come back. And thanks to the block, I couldn't message her, couldn't call her. After a week, I was pretty desperate, so I uh -oh. just hung around outside her work. Oh, my God. You start being one of them. One of them stalkers, huh? No one knows where she is. You know, I was still hopeful that she would get in touch or at least remove the block so that I could contact her, but no. Every image of them, every memory I had of her was vandalized. Hmm. Vandalized. My goodness. He's acting deranged. Some passerby called the police. They took me down the station. And that was that. I feel like that's not the end of this story though. Oh, where is this headed? I knew she spent every Christmas with him at his place. So I knew that she would definitely be there. Pulling out all the stops. No holds barred. This gentleman. Gentleman. Well, I had to take a closer look. And there's her dad with our baby. But I can't even see his face because... Legal blocks cover offspring too. I'm trying to solve for X right now. Watch them from a distance. Uh-oh. Watching the kid grow up, you know? You can sympathize with this guy. This kind of behavior is untoward and inappropriate, but you can feel for him. Let's try again next year. Something happened before then. Do tell, do tell. On his way to his first job interview. Like Bethany Gray, the young mother who'd only recently started. It's been so long since I'd seen her, it was hard to imagine anything but that shadow in her place. But now that the block had died with her, there she was. She was gone. <laughs> oh, that's tragic. That's unspeakably tragic. With the block gone. And we get a fuck we get a Dutch angle. Black mirror, bro. Oh, I am steeped in anticipation and suspense right now. Hello, darling. No. Oh no. 
Not the, not the friend. Oh. Yo, levels of betrayal and deception. I swear, if I see the friend with whom she works in that house. Oh. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, no. That's crazy. That's <gasps> I am stupefied. I have goosebumps. Can you see? Probably not. It's dead. Do you understand? She's dead. That's a that's a revelation. That's how you do a revelation, baby. This is Beth's daughter. I want to see my daughter. Go upstairs. He's lost it. He's off the reservation. Oh, Grandpa didn't strapped up, bro. If this is about those letters, I threw them out before she saw them. She was a mess. She. She'd have to leave everything behind. Oh, I'm getting a suspicion it's going to take a Tarantino-esque turn. Who's in my daughter? You have no daughter here! Oh. Well, butter my buns and call me a biscuit. He is apoplectic. And now he's seeing red. And being very insensible. The freaking clock. Then what happened? Tell me. I just left. That's not. This is magnificent. This is magnificent. All the pieces of this puzzle, the slices of this pie, is astoundingly good. I walked into the nearest town. I slipped on the streets and I drank. And then after a while, I don't know how long, come on, mom, pick me up. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Cannot. I'm trying to get my faculties here. This is, this is spectacular. She just stayed hidden. She didn't move. But on the boxing day, she realized that no one was going to help. And she um, gave her granddad a present that she made. Mm. God forgive me. Is he doing his job? Oh, this is brutal. And amazing, in equal doses. And at the beginning, he said this isn't an interrogation. I confessed. Okay. Okay. Woo, I knew I could do it. Boom. I told you I'd get it. All right, I'm coming out. <laughs> oh, my. This is. People like to crap on TV, but Black Mirror is pound for pound, one of the best. 17 minutes. He knows he's guilty, he needed to unload. When he was first ingested, I tweaked the time preferences. It made it seem like five years from his perspective. Some might say that five years with me is punishment enough. Self-deprecation, am I right? So John Hamm's character is agreed to work with, on this case to absolve himself as a plea deal. So you can keep the silent tact up as long as you want. Makes no difference. You've already talked. <laughs> the deal? Break a confession from him and I go free, right? We'll make good on the offer. You're free to go, Mr. Trent. <laughs> with some caveats. Uh, stipulations and conditions, am I right? Terms and conditions apply. It means you're blocked. By who? By everyone. He has to register as a peeping Tom. And he's blocked. So he's walking around the world isolated for his crimes in plain sight. And the shade of red is a nice touch. So everybody can see him. It's like the scarlet letter, as it were.
Good night, man. Good night. I mean, good night, brother. This is a fantastic episode. This is my favorite episode thus far in Black Mirror, without a doubt. And to think, I got six seasons, like 20 more episodes I haven't seen. A Groundhog's Day of torture and self-incrimination. That is a very good episode. <laughs> the Black Mirror season four, wait, season two, episode four is the best episode I've seen so far. Just the, the masterful weaving of a tale and the introduction of characters and a storyline and the unfolding in an unpredictable, soothing, stimulating, mystifying way. Meet a guy who seems downtrodden, we don't know why. And I like the, the touch of, at the beginning, he's looking in the mirror and he rubs the picture of his wife because that comes to be so momentous and significant by the end of the third act of this story. I, I doff my proverbial cap to the writer or writers of this episode. Not to mention the cinematography, the acting, come on. It was solid throughout. You know, we're wondering why he's here and why, why these people are in this house during winter. And then we learn about John Hamm and he opens up his character. Oh, I used to coach people romantically by linking through their eye and talking them through uh, successful conquests, if you will. And then that transitions into introducing the audience and the guy to this phenomenon, this procedure whereby one can like extract one's consciousness and download it, not unlike Ultron and the Avengers, if I'm using that an appropriate analogy, but download one's consciousness and one's thoughts, beliefs, fears, all of that, and be able to reconstitute it for whatever purposes. And so the person who has the reconstituted consciousness can like coast and be free of stressors in a certain environment. But so we're thinking about that in, an, in, a, in a vacuum, in a certain sense. Not not really thinking that that's where it's at. That's what's being, at least for me, maybe y'all picked up on it earlier than I did, but I love the fact of not knowing where a story's going. You know, I love the, the feeling of a mystery, especially like when reading a book. It, I had like a, a book-like sensation while watching this. Like I was turning a page and each page was giving me just enough information to desire and need and long for more. And so for him to then visualize for the audience what it was like for him to be in love and be with his wife and there was tension there, but love at the same time. And to have that through line of the friends being <laughs> integral to their relationship, their couple friends, and then him, the blocking, ooh, the blocking is a very profound commentary on the nature of life the day in which we live right now the digital era the digital footprint social media blocking someone and i can see the writer of this episode getting blocked one time and this opened up a whole wilderness of possibility for narrative tackling of the issue getting blocked or having to block someone and what that means and to be able to render it in real life this is yeah this is a good episode my favorite so far so more more is coming down the pike for sure. I'm gonna do every Black Mirror episode. It, yeah, I have, I think I did two other Black Mirror episodes. If you wanna see it, go over my Patreon. I did the Waldo moment and I believe it was another one, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah. Social commentary, you know, a little sociological, metaphysical exploration of the identity of self and how we're perceived by others and what it actually means to be with someone and then not want to have anything to do with them for the rest of your life. Not unlike Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. That's one of my top five favorite films. You know, 
in which you get a procedure to forget your loved one. And, but in this way, it's all visual. Like you can remember in Eternal Sunshine, they were just talking about the, the memory of it. And here it's, it's typically visual. You have no communication. So this is a good TV show. And cinematically, it had cinematic vibes. You know, people like to crap on TV. And uh, TV shows like this and Succession, just to name a few, it's worth the price of admission, even if the admission is time. You know, it's what you pay to watch these things, but or the streaming service, etc. Are y'all pissed off as much as I am that Netflix started making ads just to fit in with everybody else? As if Netflix needed more money. Okay, I digress. That's a tangent. That's a res that's a discursive statement. Um, okay. Thank you for watching this. I appreciate you being here. Like this video to help your boy out with the algorithm. Leave me some comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join to the channel. I'm a YouTube partner so you can join and get similar benefits than you can over on my Patreon, which is Mr. Valentine Reacts over there on the Patreon where you can get early access to all of my videos. But, you know, I'm going to continue this Black Mirror train. This is fun. I will be primarily doing movies on this channel, but I will be splicing in some TV shows in which I'm interested also so if that tickles your fancy if you haven't subscribed already hit that sub button but as always till we meet again